Some might say that swimming the length of the Hudson River only in a speedo is like something out of a nightmare. However, it's a dream for a British endurance swimmer. And happening right now, Lewis Pugh has reached Albany and is setting off on the next leg of the journey. Stella Porter is live at the Albany Yacht Club where he's about to start swimming, Stella. Rachel and Elaine, we are standing on the dock in Rensselaer where Lewis Pugh is about to make the next leg of his journey. Lewis, joining me now, how are you feeling tonight? Excited. I mean, we've now reached the halfway mark, which is always very, very reassuring. But uh, the challenge is that early in the afternoon, you always get these strong winds and they're coming up the river and the tide is going down the river. And so you get a, a nasty chop. And so I'm looking down the river now and I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be a long evening of swimming. How many hours do you anticipate swimming tonight? Probably about two hours. So early in the morning, I do two hours. In the evening, I do two hours. And in the middle of the day, I try and rest. <laughs> and you said that uh, some of the challenges may still lie ahead. Can you talk about some of those? Mm, yeah, I mean, I think the, the main challenge is just sheer exhaustion. I've been swimming now for two weeks. Uh, I hope to get to New York by the 13th of September, so still a lot of swimming to do. And it's just a sheer wear and tear on the shoulders, day after day after day swimming. And then it's the, the hidden threats, and that's the pollution in the water. And what we know is that when there's rainfall, raw sewage comes into the river, and certainly that is... You don't want to be swimming in raw sewage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, Lewis, we'll let you go and continue on your journey. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you. Best of luck on the next leg here. Thank you so much. So he's about to get going, guys, uh, off this dock in Rensselaer. But I want to show you some video of Lewis Pugh's journey so far. Uh, he started up at Lake Tier of the Clouds, and he's swimming all the way to New York City, where the Hudson meets the Atlantic. He'll be swimming to remind the world of the importance of protecting rivers and oceans. Pew told me he's seen some of the most beautiful nature on the way down, including bears and bald eagles. And it may not surprise you, though, that the big concern from here on out is pollution. As you then move through the big cities, through Albany, that's where the worry comes because you get the, the, the sewerage. When, when there's rain, the sewerage comes into the river and, and impacts the, the, the river. So far, we, we haven't uh, noticed anything, but I'm sure that when we get a little bit further down, we will start noticing a significant difference in water quality. Guys are taking a live look at Lewis Pugh about to make the next leg of his swim of the Hudson River, taking off from this dock at the Albany Yacht Club in Rensselaer. We will be here as he sets off on his journey and have more for you coming up live at 6. Reporting live in Rensselaer, Stella Porter, News Channel 13. Back to you guys. Stella, thank you so much and good luck to him.